Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is how the wig first looked originally before, you know, it turned out really pretty. So the first thing I did was to just comb everything out and straighten it. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Honestly, this was like the easiest thing I've ever done. You know, just comb it out and straighten it until you're happy with how it looks. If you guys are wondering about the color on this wig, I had honestly bleached it a long time ago when I was unhappy with the color. So that's how I got this color. It did not come, with, the hair did not come like this at all. So this is how it looks when I'm done straightening it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a section in the back and just kind of, I'm really just winging it in this video, honestly. So I just cut it to a length that I think I would like. And then I went in and I tried it on to make sure that that was actually the length I wanted. And then I came back. So I tried to do it with a, you know, razor thing, but that didn't work. So the hair was like a little bit too thick. So I went in and I took some thinning shears and I tried to thin it out as much as possible just so that it wouldn't be bulky and you know because this was like five four or five bundles of hair i believe i did a review on this a long time ago i'll put the link in the description bar so then after i tried it on i had already cut some and so i just finished it off by cutting the rest of the wig to the length that i wanted it and i also continued to thin out the hair as i went along because honestly it was just way too much hair to deal with and you want to make sure that your cuts are as clean as possible just so you don't have to go in and do too much work with the hair. So I'm just making sure that it's equal on both sides because I don't feel like taking it off and putting it back on my head again. You know what I'm saying? That's just a little bit too much stress. So then I'm going ahead and doing some more thinning. You know, this, this was just... I could have probably done this wig from scratch, but I ain't got no hair like that. And yeah, I'm just going through and just thinning the hair out as much as possible. Cause it was honestly too thick, too thick. Which is great cause the hair was great quality, but it was just way too thick for this project. <laughs> and then I just went in and I bumped the ends once I was perfectly happy with everything. This tutorial is honestly pretty easy if you already have a pre-existing wig. Now, if you want to make this wig from scratch, uh, you should probably check out Peak Mill because she is like inspiration and she's like bae and she does like everything from scratch. But this was a wig I had previously made and I'm just going ahead to cut it because I didn't like the hair anymore. So this is what it looks like when I'm completely done and you'll see me try it on in a little bit. So I'm just showing you the front of the hairline and how you know almost like my scalp it looks like so I'm taking the got to be glued hair gel and just using that to flatten my flyaways at the top and it looks pretty right now but I wanted to add a little bit of shine so I use the PYT argan oil and just rub that all over the hair to give it a little bit of shine and I really like this wig because it does look natural. It looks like it could honestly be my real hair because of the texture it has from it being curly. So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this really simple tutorial. And I will see you guys in my next video. God bless and bye. I believe in angels.